What's up guys? It's Mark again and welcome back to Swamp and Stomp. So today's video is going to be all about chasing turkeys in South Florida and I tried to show you all the struggles and all the things that we've been going through while we've been doing that and we got tons and tons of footage so there's going to be lots of content coming out in the next few weeks. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Hopefully you guys learn a little bit uh, and it'll help you guys get after the turkeys as well. And once I upload this I'm actually heading out to uh, the north zone to get after him again for a long weekend so hopefully there's going to be even more content coming out and before we get into the video i just wanted to mention that we finally decided what our next quarterly giveaway is going to be it's going to be pretty sweet and we're going to be announcing that giveaway in the next video so make sure that you're subscribed and you'll find out what that is pretty soon but i promise you you're gonna to wanna to get in on this one. We really appreciate all the support we get from you guys. And if you wanna support us just a little bit more, go check out our merch store. You can find a link down in the description. You can also find a link to our Patreon page and there you can make a small monthly donation. That's gonna help out the channel to grow and just become better in every possible way. Uh, but it also gets you a bunch of cool stuff like free merch and uh, extra entries into that quarterly giveaway. So check that out. Let's get into the video. Good morning, YouTube. So deer season has pretty much come to an end. And uh, that means it's time to start looking for turkeys. So we did not draw any uh, quotas this season. So I'm out in a non-quota area and I'm going to start looking but really more than turkeys I'm looking for sheds I figured if I can find a recently burned area it would increase my chances of spotting sheds and uh, I happened to find one turkeys also like these recently burned areas so I'm gonna start wandering, see what I can find. All right, so I just came across the first bit of turkey sign uh, right on the edge of a pond here in the mud. And I'm targeting mud because it's been raining. So this is like the only place I'm gonna find it. But here's some turkey tracks. Got some more over here. These are pretty small. They look like hen tracks. Now, just for those of you that are still learning, this right here, this is not a turkey track. These are some other wading bird. I don't know what, but, but it's definitely a good sign. There's a bunch of turkey tracks and deer tracks too. All right, so I'm not a whole lot further than where I found all the tracks. Right here, got a little bit of turkey crap. Um, now that I am finding some turkey sign, I'll probably come back here maybe next weekend um you know with some locator calls to see if i could figure out exactly where these birds are hanging out but for now i just want to get a lay of the land figure out you know where where they're kind of hanging out during the day so <clears throat> right here i've got i've got some more tracks turkey tracks i got deer i got hog and i got raccoon all in the same spot when you find an area that's really productive, you're gonna find lots of different species hanging out in the same area. I mean, this place has all kinds of food around. There's cocoa plum bushes all over the place. Um, and it just got burned, which means that there's gonna be lots of uh, soft grasses and stuff like that growing up here. Um, and that's all really palatable for deer, hogs, uh, and I know that's not what I'm looking for right now, but it's good to keep this stuff in mind for next season. With these right here, you can see that the, the middle toe is significantly longer than those side toes. So that's an indication that it's probably a gobbler. But this right here is also a great indicator. You can see right off the back because it's sinking into the mud here a bit. You can actually see an imprint of his spur right there so you, again you can see a little imprint right there there's another one over there so 
definitely dealing with a gobbler here. There's actually a feather laying here too. Um, and I actually think that there's, I'm finding tracks of two different gobblers here. So this is really good. Definitely gonna have to come back here to see if I can figure out where they're hanging out. Here's a really fresh turd. I mean, it poured last night. This is still soft. So this is probably from this morning. For bonus points, can anybody tell me in the comments what animal makes this track? So I'm, I'm back in an area that I haven't been to in a real long time. But uh, right back behind me here, this, uh, this pine tree, that was the first pine tree or the first time in a tree stand that I ever had an opportunity at a deer. Uh, actually, that's not true. Second time. And uh, it was a three point. It just had one antler. But I, I was really worried about one of the points so I didn't shoot. Um, and probably a few weeks after that, I told our buddy Ben to come sit here. And he shot his first Florida buck right here. And I put our buddy uh, Richard uh, from Backcountry Hunters and Anglers. Uh, he's actually out here scouting with me right now. He's He went the other direction. But I put him in that tree and he actually had some turkeys fly down right back in this uh, this little hammock over here. So I'm gonna go walk in there. There's a lot of tracks going in here. I don't see any turkey tracks yet. But, oh, never mind. There's turkey tracks. There's deer, turkey, hogs, everything going back in here. So I'm gonna go check it out. Check this thing out. It's just a black racer curled up hanging out in the top of a bush right there. Pretty random. So, found another big burned area. I've been working my way through it slowly. And, um, I just came across a nice big hen. She was kind of on this, this little open area right here. So, she was just kind of feeding around. She moved off that way, so I'm going around. I don't want to spook her. I want them to... I really don't want them to ever have known that there was a human here. Um, but definitely finding some areas worth checking out as we get closer to season. What's up guys? So it's the evening before turkey season opens down here in the south. I've got two spots kind of that I've been scouting. <clears throat> They're both kind of close, but far enough that I'm definitely dealing with different birds. I'm working my way in right now. What I'm gonna do is uh, set up like a little makeshift blind. Kind of made like a, a blind sort of situation out of my, my tripod for my camera. So I kind of want to go out to a spot that I might hunt 
um, get a feel for like which trail I can use to get there without lighting. And you're just kind of set up and probably just sit there, see if anything walks by and listen for the evening. So I just started making my way out to the spot where I set up my little blind yesterday. <clears throat> Some guy beat me to it. Somebody was shining their flashlight, so. Good luck to you, dude. I hope you shoot one early, because I gotta get over there and get my camera stuff. So I just came back over here to pick up my my tripod, my seat and stuff. There was still a guy sitting here. So I just walked past him. And I'm about to walk past him again. So if you watch this, sorry dude. But uh, I have my stuff out here. And I didn't want to interrupt you because you got here first. So I'm getting out of your hair now. I'm going to go regroup, take a shower. It's gonna be raining all afternoon, so I'll be back first thing in the morning. And I'm gonna go out there where I heard all them gobblers going nuts. All right, so it's 10:30 uh, right now. It's windy as hell, so Colin's not doing a whole lot of good. They can't really hear anything anyway. Um, I was sitting right here earlier, about an hour and a half ago, and I decided to make a move. I hadn't heard anything or seen anything, so I got on the trail that's right here and started heading down. I got maybe 200 yards down and I ran into a nice gobbler and um, he took off running into the, the cypress.
little guy I didn't care that I was here at all. All right, guys, so I'm back at this spot. Where was that last weekend? So I'm heading in there right now, hoping to hear one fly up maybe. So it's about six o'clock maybe, 5.45. So I gotta hustle back there. I can hear it in your voice. You didn't hear anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What up, man? <laughs> no, I didn't hear anything. But um, yeah. So if if I had to go off of tracks alone, um, uh -huh. I would I would not go to where I saw that bird. Uh huh. But instead, I would continue straight down the back side of that that big pond kind of like towards where you were sitting for that deer hunt but uh -huh. but on the other side of the pond but yeah i didn't really see fresh tracks out there where uh where i saw that bird uh -huh. and I, I didn't really like go poking around like crazy because you know i figured i didn't want to walk up on something um you know the the place is pretty open. Like once you get back in that little cypress area, you, you can hear a long ways. Yeah. So yeah, I bet. I think. I think if we go, I I think I know a spot where we can uh, stand in the morning or just sit down in the morning and and listen. Mm -hmm. uh, we, from there, we should be able to hear any. Yeah, I don't. I usually I don't even if I'm not hearing gobbles, I don't sit down. I'll. I'll you know, walk to a spot, listen, and then I'll hustle my ass a quarter mile, and, you know, listen, and then yeah. I just keep moving and stopping and listening and stopping and listening and keep hustling. on this 
side of the road now. Yeah, maybe he's like near the road. I think he's like right on the road. Yeah. Oh, he's on this side. for tomorrow. I think I know exactly where this bird's hanging out. It's right where I ran into the other bird um, last weekend when I ran into him on the road. I think this bird's roosted right there. So 
I know the area well. I'm gonna sneak in there at dark. I'm gonna kill him. 